Good morning everyone, Tom here, the Racing Joker, with another vlog. Today we're talking about cars, and it's also Valentine's Day, so we're doing things with that, but we'll start with cars first. Let me just show you the weather. We got snow again, as you can see. This is our porch, and there's the BMW. Not really covered in snow as you would expect, but it has been covered in snow before. So we're gonna start it up, warm it up, and then come back inside because it's uh, less than 10 degrees. It was uh, sub-zero temperatures uh, earlier today, but not now. So we're not gonna let the engine warm up 100% fuzzy. We're just gonna let the air conditioning basically get running so that air conditioning the heat. Okay, it was nine degrees the last time I checked. Here we go. It struggled to start. It's struggling to rev too. It might have gotten just a little bit too cold. <coughs> the ultra strong smell of gasoline. All right, well, we'll let that kind of warm up. Hopefully that'll help. Three days of freezing temperatures, having it just sit outside, so that's probably not the best. Not a great noise. <laughs> okay, well, well that does that. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that we will be ordering parts for the car this weekend. Very exciting parts. We're gonna be ordering a GT2 uh, spec carbon air box made by PTG following, I, I don't know if it's actually made by PTG, but it follows PTG GT2 BMW Motorsport P54 race specifications. On the outside, it looks like a CSL. On the inside, the internals are a little different. We're also gonna be getting carbon fiber uh, velocity stacks, and we are also getting a new dipstick assembly rod and like tube and dipstick to accommodate uh, the new, new location of it because when you get these carbon air boxes, especially if it's like CSL or the GT2 one, um, you need to move the dipstick. That's only necessary if you're running the normal oil system. If you've got a dry sump, you don't need that. But we're not dry sump. Um, we're using a street car. So exciting stuff with that. We're getting a real carbon air box. It looks like CSL, but it's actually better on the inside. Carbon fiber velocity stacks and the new dipstick. We'll probably do an alpha N tune so we don't have to worry about the math sensor. Yeah, that'll completely transform the sound of the car. Sorry, uh, lighting. And then after that, we'll probably do CSL headers. Yeah, probably CSL headers and a rasp pipe just to reduce the rasp a little bit and see how that sounds um, along with the, uh, the air box. I think that'll make the car sound absolutely amazing. And we've got some errands to do. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of grocery shopping. We're gonna be taking the car out as a daily. And we've got some eggs warming here. As a Valentine's Day gift to my wife, Heather, we will be making spaghetti carbonara, um, mostly from scratch using a recipe we found online. Uh, it calls for three eggs, which is one of the main ingredients for the sauce, I believe. And we're letting these uh, warm up to room temperature, which isn't, which isn't massively warm, <laughs> but it should be good enough and yeah it'll be delicious and my wife will film me cooking so if you want to see me cook stay to the end of the video um but yeah um for those of you that are just here for the car stuff we're getting the air box dipstick and velocity stacks and it will transform the car and remember it's real race car parts using real race car specs from 2001 to 2006 so that's really cool that we're putting real race car parts on and then after that we'll do the headers and we'll do CSL engine internals. We'll aim for 360 to 380 horsepower at the crank, something like that. And that should be fairly reliable. And it will sound great, and yeah. And then after that, we need to work on how we're gonna do the exhaust system, um, the side exit, and how we're going to do the body kit. 
because we've got a few options. We've got some carbon fiber options, the PTG one, the version one GTR kit, which is very expensive, unbelievably expensive. It costs about as much as a brand new M4, um, I think, if I remember how much an M4 costs. And then there's a the two a model works one, which is also pretty good. We might start with that one. I just don't want it to. I don't if it involves cutting into the chassis to mount it. That's a problem. But if it doesn't, if it just requires some cutting of just fender panels and things and not actual chassis modification, I'm okay with it. And then we might start with that just because that's the most economical option. Economical, yeah, economical option, and it still doesn't. Um, look total like total crap so yeah that's pretty good okay um you guys are probably cringing at the fact that i haven't started my car in a couple days in below freezing temperatures i know that's probably cringe i'm sorry it's definitely dirty oh it's nice and warm in here well now it revs just fine and man especially from the front those revs are gonna sound so good with that air box. I can't wait to get that on the car. It's because of it's because of how those air boxes sound that I want to kind of build the S54 a little bit before we go V8. We will be going V8. So yeah. One other thing we need to figure out is how we're gonna do the side exhaust. That's probably gonna be the most complicated part of the build is the side exhaust, because we need to figure out how we want to do it. Because with the normal race cars, the official race cars, the exhaust kind of tunnels through the floor here and out the side there. And, it, and you have to basically get a whole roll cage to reinforce the chassis because all that tunneling would basically ruin the structural integrity of the chassis without it. And so that would require stripping down the car, getting the welded roll cage and all that, and then putting everything back together. You know, that would be very expensive. So it would be very expensive to do that exhaust system. We do want a functional side exit exhaust. The other thing we can do is the one I discussed earlier, which is where we just have the section two exit out the side. I don't know if maybe we can, once we get the V8, do it properly, maybe. It would be a lot of cutting and welding. I don't know how badly that would affect the structural integrity. It's a possibility. I just need to do more research because one of the issues with the, the aggressive bends, because it would be basically like the kind it would basically be the same side exit exhaust as the 2M Model Works Most Wanted GTR car. We want the car to shoot flames, but with those bends, I want to make sure that those bends aren't so severe that with a flame tune, it wouldn't hurt anything, you know? So I probably look really weird with the mask, I'm sorry. That's just how things are these days. But I've got a shopping list. Um, it's a weird shopping list. We've got milk, two chocolate, uh, one normal pancetta or bacon for the uh, carbonara. We need a wedge of Parmesan cheese, shredded lettuce, that's for tacos, sushi for me, some more baby food for the baby. Obviously that's not for me. And uh, then we've got some stuff for Heather, which is Taco Bell, steak quesadillas, and uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast frozen drink. And then I suppose the, the car parts are like a Valentine's Day present for me to myself. So let's go to Deerberg's and get some stuff. All right, we're making it into downtown. A lot of snow, you guys. Look at all this. Uh, it's crazy. Speed limit is about 30. Nice thing about the BMW, you can set the cruise control at some ridiculously low levels. You can set it at like 20 miles an hour if you wanted to. Whereas in the Subaru, the minimum was like 30. But I've got to set the 30 right now. I've noticed that the speedometer is maybe just a little fast. It's a little inaccurate, just, you know, based on GPS speeds. And I know that my GPS is pretty accurate. So I think that's kind of interesting that the speedometer is a little inaccurate, um, which makes me wonder if the tack might be inaccurate or if any of the other gauges are. So that's kind of fascinating. Another thing is that in case you guys didn't know, um, our lease is almost up on the, in a few more months, the lease will be up on our apartment and we're kind of house hunting and there are a couple houses I've mentioned this before the possibility of getting a house in a zip code that doesn't require emissions which would simplify matters with this car uh, greatly where we could just get the CSL headers and save like three thousand dollars on not having to get the 
uh, CSL cats, um, which are very expensive. CSL headers are also not cheap because we'd be getting them new, but it would save us some money. And then we could straight pipe and shoot flames. And as a YouTuber, that seems to be the way to go. Shooting flames out your car and doing a couple pops and bangs, especially in an exotic, even though this isn't like a crazy high-end exotic, seems to be the way to go. I don't know about you guys, but maybe it's just because I play a lot of video games or because I, I don't know, I'm just weird. But all this snow, it really makes me think of The Last of Us for some reason, because there's a big snow winter portion, snowy winter portion of the game. It's just very atmospheric because I'm, I'm always doing the deliveries and right now it's very snowy and cold for the deliveries. I should also tell you guys about the crazy mishap we had on a really, really bad day. But yeah, look at all this, it's so snowy. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick shopping and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Uh, it's nine degrees, freaking cold. Well, got everything from the grocery store. Now let's get Heather her lunch because the sushi is my lunch. Taco Bell for the missus. Just turn wide so I don't curve the wheels. I curved the wheels on the Subaru once and then I never did it again because that was just embarrassing. And this car is in pretty good condition. I like the wheels even though we are going to be getting uh, the Rogue Engineering GTR wheels. But we'll probably get those, I don't know, we might get those wheels pre-body kit but then I know we'll want to get uh, extra wider ones for wider tires uh, later on when we get the wider, wider, the wide body kit. I feel like that would just make sense. So I hope you guys are being safe in this crazy winter weather. I mean, it's not super crazy it's pretty normal but um, while we're in the in the drive-through uh, just waiting for people to get their stuff um, I had quite an interesting day a couple weeks ago where it was super super cold lots of ice I was delivering to an area in st. Louis or near st. Louis and I don't know I guess they only had two snow plows because they they hadn't salted or done anything until maybe two in the afternoon when you could really start to tell that the roads were getting safer. So we were on the freeway. We could only go maybe 40 miles an hour when the speed limit was 75 or um, 70 or something. And we got to a point, one of the vans in front of me stopped because an accident happened in front of him, but I didn't know that. So, but, so I stopped to make sure he was okay. And he said, no, I stopped to make sure these two people were okay. So we checked out the, the two people that were stopped, make sure they were fine. The cars didn't look damaged, it just looked like they maybe spun out and maybe nudged each other. So maybe there was damage I just couldn't see. One was a 370Z and the other one was some kind of like Chevy sedan, I think. It was a while ago, I can't remember. Both ladies in the cars were shaken up. Lady in the 370Z was super shaken up. She was really close to freeway traffic and she was facing the wrong direction. So she couldn't really respond to what we were saying. You know, I was trying to make sure she was okay. He was checking the car to see if there were any safety issues there. And I said, do you want to pull off more to the side of the road to be safer and she was hysterical basically and um she put the car in reverse which would have meant driving in, into freeway traffic which obviously was not good so i told her no 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 whatever you're about to do don't do it instead just turn the car off and wait for help because i think the other person has called for help hi how are you i am fantastic how about you I'm great, thank you. What can I get for you today? I would like to get two steak quesadillas and a large Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And so that was pretty crazy. And then, and I can show the footage because I have the, uh, the pictures and stuff from my Discord, um, which I'm thinking about making public. But anyways, we ended up getting, we ended up getting a, a blockage of multiple prime vans because we couldn't make it up this hill unless we were going fast or we're flooring it and kind of sideways floating it up up the hill it was like a ramp from one interstate to the other or one freeway to the other one of those like one of those interstate interchanges and it was just one of the ramps that took us from going like north to west basically or whatever i don't that's not what it was i don't think but right. so that was pretty wild <laughs> there was lots of snow it slowed me down in terms of deliveries because you know the snow slows you down but also because you're watching out for ice all the time and because people don't salt their front porches at least most people don't, at least not immediately. And so just had to be extra careful because normally I'm doing 25, 30 stops an hour. That was a slow day. Then they, they ultimately, told, ultimately told us to come back at like 3 p.m. because uh, it was just so dangerous. So I only ended up doing like 40 stops that day. It was crazy. All right, food smells good. Just gonna let this car go by. Got the quesadillas and the drink. 
neon green. So now we can head on home. I can eat uh, one of the sushi containers. I'm not gonna eat both. I don't know, maybe I'll do a live stream or something. I'm not sure. Saturday, it's my last day off before I have to get back to work. So I want to enjoy it. Maybe I'll do a Last of Us stream. I don't know. I'll try to remember to turn on monetization though. If I do, if I do a YouTube stream. <laughs> okay, and we are back and let's open the garage door. See it opening in the mirror there. Very nice. There's the Jeep. I almost ended up doing today's vlog in the Jeep because I was I was a little unsure about the weather. Um, not that this car does terrible in this weather. It does better than the Subaru, which I think is funny. The traction control in this car is actually really, really good. Like, I have a hill over there that's pretty steep and gets covered in snow and ice when it gets snows like this. And in the morning, before it's been salted or anything like that, it can be very slippery. The traction control in this car gets it up that with no problem. Whereas the Subaru, it just kind of jolts and slides backwards. <laughs> so this is, um, unexpectedly, rear wheel drive E46 M3 so far turning out to be a better daily um, and just an all around much better car which I guess makes sense an MSRP knew it $56,000 or something I can't remember I should uh ask Herschel if he could help me get the original window sticker I think it would be interesting to see all the options that were on it or initially because then you might be able to see what's been added to it it's a great car though I love it it's so much fun we're gonna let it run just a little bit more while I get stuff out of the car. Here's the sushi. All right, bam. Okay, that's good. There's lots of little icicles on the car. I've already knocked some of them off. And it's... <laughs> All right, that's everything from there. Now let's bring my wife her Valentine's Day lunch, I guess, and then and the next clip will make dinner. So like a total dumbass, <laughs> I left my uh, phone in the car. So we're gonna get that. So the only reason why, I just thought it would be kind of a fun video to make, but the main reason why I wanted to do a little bit of cooking today is because Heather and I are house hunting and thought it'd be cool to make like kind of a home style, family style channel where it's kind of like about home renovation and cooking and stuff. And me, me if you didn't know, I enjoy cooking I like, I like mixing drinks. Um, I sometimes enjoy home renovation. Um, <laughs> it depends. Where is my phone? Oof. Ah, it's in the seat. So the, one of the weird issues is if you have the center console thing armrest down, you can only use one of the cup holders. But if you have it up, you can use both. A weird design. I will say. So if you have two people in the car and you want b both people to be hydrated, you have to sacrifice your arm, arm rest. <laughs> but yeah, all right. I'll see you guys in the next clip when we do a little bit of cooking. Hope you guys are excited about that carbon air box, dipstick and all that, and velocity stacks, because that's gonna sound good. Because basically, basically we'll be ordering those tonight or tomorrow. They'll get here when they get here. And we might even be able to get the BMW shop to, do, to install them, it's not that hard. Doesn't look that hard. Um, we will need to get the Alpha N tune. Might get that from TTFS because they're pretty trustworthy and the transmission tune was very good. I think we'll save this for later and have this now. California rolls now, crispy rolls as a dessert sometime later today. So we got cheese, Parmesan, and we got pancetta. I'm really hoping this turns out really good because these are some good looking ingredients. Ah, to pass the time, I've got a, I've got kind of headphone hair now. I did a, a Neva Speed World stream just for fun. You guys can watch it um, until I make it members only, because that's what I do with all of these YouTube lives. But for now, you can watch it. Neva Speed World. We we stream for an hour and forty minutes, and then in the, like the last few minutes, we watched videos of um, hill climb cars. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna see if my wife, my lovely wife, is ready to make her Valentine's Day dish. All right, ladies and gents, we are here in the kitchen. You know that? <laughs> We're gonna grab the, the pasta and get the water started first. I am a professional spaghetti maker. According to the recipe, uh, it makes six servings. So we're just gonna use a whole thing of pasta. We're not gonna make half. And just to check, 
the eggs are room temperature, which is good. We're gonna grab a thing of pasta and we'll keep the pasta box out because we can use it as a mount for the camera. Because now you can see the stove quite nicely and I'm gonna plug you guys in because you're a little low on battery. I don't want you to want you to keel over and die. But as I plug this in, I want you all to comment. I got the power. All right, three, two, one. I got the power. All right, first things first. Let's get ourselves a big pot. Ah, these two are stuck together. There. Let's use the blue one because Heather's favorite color is blue. And this is mainly for her because it's Valentine's Day. Even though I, I like spaghetti, she does too. <laughs> I think the main difference here is that I'm the one cooking. <laughs> Fill that up with water. I don't think it really matters how much you have in here. It still cooks the pasta the same. So I usually bring it up to about here. And this is a big pot, so it should be pretty good. So I don't know if I told you guys, but the reason why that I want to do this is because when we get our new house, we want to kind of make the home style videos. I think I've told you guys this, I think. So cooking and all that. Yeah, I have told you guys that. And so this will be kind of what the videos you can expect on that channel are going to be mixing drinks, cooking, baking, random fun things. So this stove is, I guess, technically electric. It's not gas, but it's not like a glass uh, stove like the kind that I'm very used to. We're gonna put on the biggest one. We're gonna set that to six. We're gonna turn on the light. There we go. And we'll let that start up. There's a little bit of water on the bottom of the pan. So that's sizzling, but don't worry. It's fine. All right, so step one, or step two, we started that. Step two is what? We're whisking eggs, Parmesan cheese, and I guess this is black pepper here. And we've also got a, a seven month old commentating in the background. And here's, you think we'll need both? Because they seem kind of small to me when I got them. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, how much cheese do you think we want in here? Oops, please, well, I use this one. I... You broke the tip. One cup. Just the tip. One cup of cheese. Step one should be to grate the cheese. Okay, so how do you usually get the, the wrapping off? Oh, you were trying to do that, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought that was gonna be horrible. Okay, so I just start grating all of this and then we put it into a cup measure. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Can you taste the cheese? You wanna taste it? No, you. I taste it? It's Parmesan, so it's it tastes expensive, which is, it was. <laughs> yeah. I will say, cheese grating can become a bit of a workout, especially if you do it like this. <laughs> but I feel like I'm doing like an air guitar or like some kind of instrument. I'm gonna put it on the um, counter. If you're here for professional cooking techniques, I'm sorry, you've made a wrong turn somewhere. This one always freaked me out because I felt like I was going to cut myself on it because it did it so quickly. How much do you think is actually going to be a cup? <laughs> Ellie's over there enjoying her teething toy that looks like a sushi. <laughs> Am I just doing the whole thing? Look at that cheese. I'm running out of space to hold this. <laughs> Get a close up of all that cheese. Look at all that cheese and 4K, 4K sexy cheese, 4 4K cheese blaze it. I think that's more than a cup. Well, yeah, I think we passed oh, yeah. a cup a while ago. Want okay. me to put this in a Ziploc bag and put this back in the fridge? Yes. Okay. Now, what am I doing? I am cracking eggs first. Yes, three right. eggs. I'm going to crack eggs. These are the only room. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Room temperature eggs we have. Gotta be very careful because we can't wait for other eggs to get to room temperature again. Make sure no, no shells. Okay. Nope, no shells. <coughs> Is there a shell? Is that a piece of shell? He slacked. 
That's sticky. Are you able to do that with one hand? How are you able to? Okay. My wife, my wife is flexing on me. Except I did get one little shell, but and a trick to get it out. I noticed you put your thumb in there. No, oh, if you have shells in there, you, use, you yes. put some water on your finger and it helps you get it out. And that is break the yolk and then you can start really whisking. And then one cup of Parmesan cheese. And it said fresh ground up black pepper. So now we've got the eggs, which have been whisked. We've got the one cup of Parmesan, which has been grated. And now we've got ground up black pepper. Probably about a teaspoon. Less than one. Get a bigger bowl. Get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Where you need a bigger bowl. Well, in case you guys were wondering, the water is now mostly boiling. Looks like scrambled eggs. I mean, that's vaguely what it is. So the next step is to show it to us. Cook the pancetta over medium heat until crisp. Remove from pan and add garlic. Cooks for one minute. Pancetta. I haven't cooked with pancetta before. Have you? No. Because you could you could have either used pancetta or bacon, but I figured we would do this properly. How does it smell? It smells good. Want me to do that? Yes. You're the pasta freak. I am the pasta freak. Okay. So what I usually like to do. Initially, this is just me. I'm sure this isn't like a special hack or anything like that. I get it out like this. Just in case it doesn't all fit properly in your pot. Get the small pieces, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, that's a bit klutzy. But again, you're in the wrong place for professionals. Grab it like this and pretend you're breaking someone's neck. And then you feel better about yourself. Ah! <laughs> you just put it in here and you start a timer. 10 to 11 minutes. So I usually do it in between. And so I'll do it for 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Is orange juice in the recipe? No. You're just making yourself a cup of orange juice. I'm like, orange juice. I'm tasting this. It could be poison. This could be my last video ever. It tastes like orange juice. Do you have a lack of taste? No. That's a COVID just... symptom. <laughs> no, because it's dun, dun, dun. used by January 30th. Used by January 30th. I like more sunny. That doesn't seem. That seems a little wasteful, but okay. You just dump the orange juice down the drain. And now it's going to come Is the heat on? Oh, the heat is on. Smelly face. That's my life. Alien face. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Ow! <laughs> hit me in the face with her toy. Actually, she hit me in this tooth right here. It's like bacon, I guess. I think it's pretty similar. It's pig. It, it might just be a different cut of meat. Yeah. Or something. Belly. You think so? And so it's six slices? That's what it says, but I just do the whole container. Can we put some olive oil in there to help them separate? Yes. There's not a lot in here. Oh, that's a good shot of sizzling. You see that? You can see it bubbling. I wonder if they would like me to make my kind of thing brownies. Cassava brownies? Yes. Yeah, you're addicted to those like crack cocaine. Yes. we're going to break it up into 10 pieces anyways. Aren't we? Timer went off. Turn off the heat. And you need to get a cup of water out of this. Do you want me to get it? Very fancy cup. Not sponsored. Ow. Ow. 
Ow. That's hot. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Right here? Very good. <laughs> Your steamy glasses. <laughs> and you know when pasta's done, when you can flick it. Does that mean it's not done? <laughs> hold on, hold is, on. You're supposed to flick. I know, I know, I know the trick. It got stuck to you. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Hold Take on. three. Hey. It's done. That was your audition for any number of the Food Network shows. I couldn't name one for some reason. Guys Grocery Games. How about that? <laughs> Going to that show. Because I couldn't remember any of the other ones. Chopped. That's another one. There we go. Or the Great British Bake Off. Even though they make some weird crap on that show. That looks very crispy. I like that. Is that the last piece? So you got two more. Okay. So far we've got the eggs, cheese, and pepper whisked together here. Got the panch pancetta. I forgot how to say it. Pancetta there. Pasta's here. Now we've got minced garlic. All right, so we've got two cloves of minced garlic here. We didn't have actual cloves. We just decided to use uh, a jar of minced because uh, we figured that'd be easier. And so this is gonna sizzle. What are we gonna do once this is done kind of sizzling? Add the pasta. Add the pasta to it once that's done sizzling. So once the garlic has been cooking for a minute, then you add the pasta the and hot the pasta. hot pasta and then the egg mixture. Sorry guys, I've got a funny camera angle because I'm currently feeding a baby. <laughs> Alright, so is that the sauce and the garlic with the pasta together? Yes. Mmm, so that looks pretty good. Unfortunately, I can't show you, show you guys my face because I've got a baby now I'm holding. She is helping me film. See you guys? I'm being grabbed on by a child. A Add a little bit of pasta water just to make sure the consistency is right. Yes. And plus we can use this extra cheese to put on top of it as well. So in here, we've got the sauce mixture and the garlic in the uh, the cooked pasta. And now she is breaking up, breaking up the pancetta to that put like into the pasta. It's basically like bacon. It feels good to crush things in the palm of your hand. To me, I'm gonna add just a little bit more pepper. Add pancetta. Mmm. We added parsley fakes, fakes, flakes, <laughs> fake flakes. Make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. And taste good. Big thing stick on it. Yeah. It's pancetta, not bacon. It's the same thing, it's a It's a pig meat. Hold up. Now, read this. Italian inspired. I can't read that word. What does that say? Bacon. Yeah. Heck, this is why I make car videos. I don't know what I'm talking about. Spaghetti carbonara. Spaghetti. I think Ellie wants some. Man, holding this kid is a workout. <laughs> and there you have it. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Spaghetti carbonara made at home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.